I'm back for another Halloween Mania video, and I'm going to do top five favorite Scooby-Doo monsters, starting with Legend of the Vampire, the vampire from Legend of the Vamp. There were three other vampires. I like this, and, you know, the reveal is actually a, uh, you know, it's not there. It's made with, like, you know, those uh, projection, that, like, projection thing. So that that's kind of a pretty cool little little thing that it's not. This is, like, the second, the um, first uh, out of the two of the five that, uh, you know, is not human. It's just, you know, pixels or whatever. Next is the 10,000 Volt Ghost, a.k.a. Mr. Voltner. This is a uh, monster that, man, it's sad when the movie, the second movie ruined the mystique of these monsters. Like, to each their own, I just don't like the sequel. I like the first film, I just don't like the sequel of, like, the live-action sequel, because the style of this this character, the mon the ten thousand volt ghost, is really cool and just a very like interesting villain for the for the uh, mystery ink, um, and uh, very you know badass and very underrated. Speaking of badass and underrated. The pterodactyl ghost. And again, why Monsters Unleashed? Why did you do it? I like what you tried to do, but you did it poorly. And again, you ruined the mystique and, you know, just awesomeness factor of these monsters. That's scum. Pterodactyl ghost, you know, awesome. I love how he flies. I, and I do gotta say, out of it all, the only part I liked was when, um, what's his face from Old Brother Arkdale is the pterodactyl ghost, and he kind of made the, made it from scratch, uh, kind of like this. That was the that was only it. Other than that, with with the second one, <laughs> but. The original style of, you know, from the, I think it was a part of the uh, new Scooby-Doo show. Kudos. And next goes to the Witch Doctor. This is really cool, kind of, um, and I like kind of how Scream gets a little love letter to Sc Scooby-Doo, where uh, you have more, you have actually two, you know, you have two people that are donning the costume uh not just one so that was a really cool kind of idea um you know very very uh very awesome kind of monster and number one i can say the cat people like they they can be a close second, I guess, but I always loved the zombies from Zombie Island. I always loved the idea where these are aren't people; these are zombies. You know, they, these are not masks; these are real, you know, tortured people who were turned into zombies. And I loved that idea. I loved all of the different, you know, the story people from this to um what's new scooby do was even like that where you have really good you have good complicated storylines you know i mean like com compatible storylines with all four characters well five um and you, you just it, it just always followed that, and I really loved that. I really loved the whole zombie thing, and and I do love the whole uh, 
comeuppance that the three cat people get. I just, I always love all of this different thing. And, and the setting of Louisiana, which, you know, sometimes, like, there's two things I find so scary. The most weirdest, like, uncomfortable atmospheric has got to be one, Lu- no, two Louisiana and one the the winter. But they're both fun and creepy. So those are my top five favorites.